Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Q dir class in Qt. So, if you don't know what is this class and uh, how uh, does this class work, there is a simple uh, way of uh, you know getting the help. So, what you can do here is you can just go to help here and then search for QDIR right so there are some options here you can see there are some options like bookmarks content index and search so I have selected search here and I search for QDIR okay and uh, when I search for it it will show me this kind of uh, result the first result here is this uh, result right so as you can see here you can uh, you know get the information about Q their class so let's uh, read what it says so qdir class provides access to directory structure and their content so this is the simple explanation of this class so it provides the information about the directory structure and their content and if you want to read more about this then uh, you can uh, you know use it as a help and when you move down there are some more examples here right so this is how you can get examples and help from qt creator now let's see how we can use it so first of all what i've done is i've created this uh, simple project and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my forms and uh, choose this uh, main window.ui and in here first of all i'm going to take uh, for example list box or list widget okay this we have seen in the last video so it's a good time to use this widget okay and uh, let's say we want to use combo box also okay so let's uh, use combo box and let's try to use all these uh, things and I will take a push button also so just search for push button and drag and drop here okay and then I will select all these three things and provide them the vertical layout by using this button so I'm going to use this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide to this main window the layout some kind of late or layout so I will right click on this main window and select layout and choose uh, this vertical layout here okay which will give the layout so when I resize uh, this um, main window these widgets will be resized also now uh, I'm going to go to my main uh, window.cpp file and first of all to use this qdir class obviously we need to include this header so just include qdir and then we are ready to use it so I'm going to go to the constructor and first of all what I'm going to do is how you can create an object of uh, this qdir so you just need to write qdir and then uh, you can give the name of the object and then in the constructor you can uh, actually set the path initial path of uh, the directory you want to uh, you know navigate into and the first thing here what you can do is uh, you can uh, check whether some path exists or not so for example uh, there will be some path in your uh, you know computer for example C colon slash which is a forward slash generally windows if you are using windows you may want to use this backslash but it's a reserved word uh, or escape character in C++ so it's better to use uh, this kind of forward slash here right and let's say uh, some uh, I want to search for some uh, uh, random directory here okay some kind of random directory which doesn't exist and I want to check if uh, it exists or not so what I can do here is I can uh, for example uh, say here if and then this uh, dir object and then you can just uh, call a method called uh, exists and it will return you a bool value so it will uh, tell you if uh, this directory exists it will uh, uh, return you true otherwise it will return you false right so let's add a Q message box also so that we can uh, use this and show it if uh, the um, directory exists or not true or false something like this so Q message box here and then I'm going to use this message box as a information so I'm just going to use it 
the information function from here and first argument second argument is the title and in this case uh, we will print true here because if the directory exists it will return the true value right else we can uh, just uh, uh, print false value something like this and you just need to give the semicolon here and then copy this and paste it here and instead of true just write false here and then, then uh, just run your program and uh, let's see what message it shows when it runs so you see it shows false because this directory doesn't exist so it shows false and click ok and it will open your uh, main window after okay now for example uh, let's open uh, this folder in which this project is so I'm going to choose any file here right click and I will just say show in Explorer and then it will give me uh, this kind of uh, you know folder Explorer uh, place where this project is uh, existing so I can just copy this path and then paste it here and instead of uh, backslash I will just replace them by forward slash something like this and this uh, directory obviously exists because we have just copied the path from it there so let's see if it shows true or not so and you can see here it shows true so this directory exists right so you can use it something like this to check if the directory exists or not now the second thing is here you can just uh, declare it something like this without any constructor argument and I'm going to just remove these things here and uh, let's say we want to uh, display all the drives which are present in your computer for example C drives D E F some kind of drives you want the list of all the drives so what you can do here is uh, for example you can use a property called uh, for each so there is a for each uh, in Qt and this is same as for but what it does is it it rates over all the fields in uh, array so you can just uh, take this uh, dir and there is a function called uh, drives here so just call this function called drive and then you can see what it does it returns the q file info list right and you can see it says returns a list of the root directory of the system so it will return the list and for, by using for each uh, loop we can uh, you know go through one by one each of the items of uh, the list right and in here you can initialize it by q file info so just write q file info and then you can use your combo box to show these drives so you can just write ui and then call the combo box and then uh, call add item something like this and then use this uh, variable var dot and then it will give you some options we want to show the for example absolute file path of this so we will use this option and then we can run our program and let's see what it returns or if it's populating the combo box or not so you can see the combo box is populated and currently I have uh, two drives C and D right so it's showing both the drives I can verify it by opening my folder explorer you can see there is C drive and D drive right so it's listing all the drives uh, there in the combo box right now the second thing what you can do is you can also print uh, all the files or and uh, folders which are present in certain directory so how we can do it so once again let's uh, declare one more q dir uh, you know object so i'm just going to use this and i'm going to just say it's q dir 2 for me okay and I'm going to just use this uh, for each loop once again and instead of uh, qdir here I will use qdir2 and instead of uh, using uh, the drives this time I want to use uh, some other method which is entry info list right so just use this to get the all the you know files inside the folder defined folder 
so which folder we want to uh, you know use here so in here you can just define a folder location for example I want to use C colon slash which is my C directory okay something like this or even you can use your project folder and uh, list out all the files which are present in your uh, project so let's do this this will be good for us so I'm going to just copy this path and uh, paste it here and instead of uh, backslash I will just replace every backslash by forward slash here and uh, everything will be same here right but instead of combo box let's use uh, list widget this time so just use list widget here and let's run our code and let's see what happens when it runs so our project is running and you can see here it has listed all the folders and the files which exist in your project directory so we have uh, the project folder which is uh, QDIR demo and then the root folder then the files inside your project so main.cpp main window.cpp and other files here okay so in this way you can list all the files and folders in your uh, in your list box right you can do one more thing if you want to know whether this uh, item is file or a directory what you can do so uh, in this case what we will do here is uh, let's say if just use if condition here instead of for this use if and then use uh, var if var is a directory so just use is there and this will return you if the directory uh, if this item is directory or not right so if the directory if this is a directory what you can do is you can just write here dir colon and then plus right so it will print is in front of directory directory and uh, if uh, for example if this is a file there is a function for that also so just uh, choose var dot is file okay so it will uh, return you true if this item is a file so I will just copy it and paste it here and instead of this I will just say if it's a file I will just add a file as a prefix here okay so let's run our code once again and let's see what happens so you can see this is a directory this is a directory and all other are files okay so you know uh, which one is the directory and which one is the file in our case now there are many other things you can uh, do with uh, this QDIR class so let's go to main window.ui and just click this uh, button and then go to slot and just select clicked click OK and in here for example I will uh, just declare one more object for example QDIR itself and let's say if I want to check whether uh, some directory exists or not and if it doesn't exist I want to create that directory so how do I do this so I will choose the same path as here so I will just copy this uh, path from here and paste it as a constructor and let's say I want to uh, just check if uh, for example some path exist inside this folder which is not even existing for example uh, y y y okay and I want to check if uh, this exists and if it doesn't exist I want to create it so I will just uh, check it first there dot exists it will return you true or false so if this uh, exists this path what I want to do is I would just want to show some uh, message for example I will just use this Q message box and then I will just say uh, information and then the argument some title and then I will say dir exists okay or otherwise I'm going to create it so in the else condition just write else and instead not square bracket here I want to use these curly brackets and what I can do here is I can create this directory so I will just say uh, dir and then you have some functions here so for example mkdir for make directory right or you have this path mk path so 
this you can use when you want uh, to create uh, some kind of paths for example you want to create uh, th inside this directory some folder and then some uh, other folder and other uh, you know folder for something like this so we are going to use this one which is mk path and we want to create some path so for example this path itself we want to create it if it doesn't exist right and then give the semicolon here now first of all uh, let's see whether this uh, folder really exists inside our folder or not so I'm going to just open uh, my project folder and you can see right now there is no folder by this name yyy inside my folder right so I'm going to just uh, run my project and uh, then once it runs I want to check whether it creates the folder or not so you can see this is my uh, folder and when I click this it will create this folder here right empty folder okay otherwise once it exists and again I will just click this button push button it will say there exists so it already exists right so you can use uh, you know uh, this help to see which are the functions you can use and uh, which are the properties you can use uh, in QDIR uh, class and uh, I'm sure you will find many good things using this help section of Qt creator so I hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now